I got to tell you that I could not be more proud of the, the departments that make up our safety department. They said to me, I'll never forget what Michael Bennett said. He says, one of the things that you'll learn is that most of your time will be spent on policing matters in the city of Denver. Um, the crime issues, um, working with the police department, the innovations, the inventions that occur um, around safety. Uh, but what we have in our safety department is a, is a lot of innovative leaders who take personally the challenges that they face and taking advantage of the opportunities that they're presented with. The departments that make up our safety department has not been easy over the last three and a half, almost four years of the work we've had to do to begin to restore and to reestablish um, the solid um, structure within the Denver Police Department. Today, we are all sitting in one of the safest cities in the United States. And that is due in large part to the continued dynamic, excellent work of our, our Denver Police Department and the leadership of Chief Robert White. Um, we have less crime, our response times um, have improved, and we have seen an over 81% improvement of our uh, productivity in the Denver Police Department. And while the bad certainly has received most of the play in the public, as of late, the department has done a lot of good. And I think it is important that we continue to recognize that the Sheriff's Department is one of the most recognized, one of the more innovative departments uh, in the nation. Now, we've all watched with tremendous concern uh, the Denver Sheriff's Department. And I can tell you that I got to thank the leaders of the Denver Sheriff's Department um, as well as the deputies. This is not easy for anyone. This has not been clean. This has not been a good thing for the city. But I'm proud of the deputies who have been clear and candid in their concerns and in, in the way they've articulated them to me. I'm, I'm proud of how um, Chief Diggins has stepped up and assumed the leadership role. I'm also proud of our safety manager, Stephanie O'Malley, who has really taken the lead on grabbing the reins of this department and working with the sheriffs to begin to restore um, the integrity and the honor of this long-standing venerable institution in the life of our city. The fire department, just like we are doing in the Denver Police Department, we have recommitted ourselves to staffing up our fire department, seeing some of the first classes um, going through the fire academy and under the leadership of Chief Tate, we have um, a new fire station that just came online in Lowry. We have uh, our firefighters doing more than just fighting fire. Um, they are working on marijuana regulations and enforcement. Of course, they're working on regional collaboration as we have served. We are serving as the fire department for several uh, surrounding cities uh, in Denver regional area. And we have one of the largest uh, uh, wildfire um, fighting crews in the nation right here in Denver under the fire department. And so we thank Chief Tate for his leadership and for what he is doing to continue to lead one of the best fire departments in our country. A lot of work has gone on to change and to address the issues of our safety department. We cannot forget our EMS, our emergency response teams as well. I'm proud of the men and women who serve this city. Like I said, they have rendered this city one of the safest in the nation and recognized for its innovation around the country. And for that, we should be proud, and for that, we should celebrate them. And for that, that's why we're here, to honor them uh, with this occasion. Nick uh, and his tremendous leadership in partnering with my administration and being very candid, identifying the challenges that we face, and helping us, being willing to roll up a sleeve and be a part of the solution and not just uh, pointing fingers. And so I want to thank Nick for his continued leadership uh, in helping us to do what we have to do, and that is correct some of the challenges that we face.